Hey guys, uh, that little intro there was some footage of one of my favorite guitar players of all time. His name is Richard Fortas. Now, I first met Richard in, I guess, 1989, 1990. Uh, my band, The Follow, I had the pleasure of opening for his band called Pale Divine. And Richard took a liking to the band and we ended up playing um, kind of all over Missouri and, and some of the surrounding states with those guys. We did about 25 shows with them. And at that time they got signed by Atlantic Records and then released their first album on a major label with those guys and ended up touring with the Psychedelic Furs. Uh, and Richard Butler and Richard Fortas became friends uh, during that tour, I'm assuming. Uh, and uh, after that, the Psychedelic Furs split, I believe, and uh, so did Pale Divine. And then the two Richards got together and created a band called Love Spit Love, which they put out two albums, and that is an amazing band. We're back, folks. As, uh, as lead singer of the Psychedelic Furs, Richard Butler sang on some of the biggest hits of the 1980s. Tonight he's here with his new band to perform a song from their debut album. Please give a nice warm welcome to Love Spit Love. back with 120 minutes. We're called Love Spit Love and this song's called Green. Also, I'm not sure of all the dates, but if you want to look at his Wikipedia page, uh, you can see that Richard ended up uh, either playing on albums with or touring with BT and Enrique Iglesias. I would stand by you forever. You can take my breath away. In the year 2000, the Psychedelic Furs reformed and they invited Rich to join as the second guitarist for the band. So he was a part of the Furs for I believe uh, a tour or maybe two and I think they recorded a live album together. Caroline laughs and it's raining all day She loves to be one of the girls She lives in a place in the side of our lives Where nothing is ever put straight I think he was with Ben Folds at one point uh, Spent a year, I think, touring with Thin Lizzy uh, And you might remember this band from the 80s And apparently, I guess in Europe, they're still pretty huge uh, Do you guys remember 99 Red Balloons and the artist Nana? And then he was also in a, a rock band called Honky Toast. 
uh, and then also joined up with the Dead Daisies for a while. Check this one out. And he even played live with Rihanna. So step inside and ride. Several years back, uh, he ended up joining Guns N' Roses, and he's been with them for several years, and uh, he is still out with those guys, and now uh, they are, uh, almost, I guess they're kind of back to um, a lot of the original members. Of course, Slash is in the band, uh, as well as Duff, and uh, obviously Axel is uh, with the band, and uh, he is uh, just a full-fledged member touring around the world it almost seems like constantly with those guys. So hi guys, Chris here from Tuman. Today we're um, in Hanover with the very awesome Guns N' Roses and Richard Ferris on the guitar. Hey man. Hi, how are you? Hey man, it's really, really cool. You took some time, I know you're in a rush and you have uh, some time issues, so let's roll, cool. Okay, um, what do you want to start, start with? with? We start with guitars. Yeah, what else? Um, all right. All right, well, this is, uh, I play this most of the night, I guess. This is my um, White Falcon. So late last year, um, Pale Divine did a reunion show, and it was a private show, and luckily the follow were invited uh, to come and see that, and it was amazing. And uh, thanks to Dan, their bass player, I scored a photo pass, and so took some photos. That was one of the first times I was really uh, experimenting with a new camera that I had, and uh, it, it went okay. I learned a whole lot during that photo shoot, and the video that you saw at the very beginning uh, was just some video clips that I got during it as well. And just, uh, it was really an honor to be able to capture Richard and Pale Divine uh, and uh, be able to just be there and experience the show uh, that close up. So Richard and the rest of the Pale guys, thanks so much for uh, having us come to that show. Uh, that was amazing. And getting to celebrate the birthday with Marshall and such a small, uh, intimate, yet incredible venue, which is Del Mar Hall in St. Louis. Uh, so that's all I've got for you guys here today. And uh, so just thanks for kind of going down memory lane a little bit with me. Um, very uh, nostalgic uh, for me to think about those days of playing with Pale Divine uh, and uh, just getting to know Rich and the guys and touring around. Um, it was uh, definitely a highlight of our band's career. So guys, that's it. Remember, be the light and go out into your world and make a difference. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yay! Matlock Films! Me, 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 me,